Did you recently get a new e-bike? Well, congratulations. Your new e-bike can certainly change your life. And well, I'm here hopefully to be your welcoming committee, a trusted friend that can help you get started with your new e-bike. Today, we're gonna to be covering the four to six things that I think every e-bike rider or owner should have to get going with this new habit and ensure they are safe, their bike is safe, and they're getting the most enjoyment they can out of their new ride. If you're interested in really in-depth details of all the things I cover, look below to an article where I cover pros and cons and some more options of these accessories that we're gonna talk about today. Before we get started, a quick intro. I'm Arlie, AKA Bike Shop Girl. I owned an electric bike and cargo bike shop, and now I get to create content full time to help people leave the car at home and replace car trips with bike trips. My full-time job is with Turn Bicycles, working in marketing and design, just trying to get more people safely out of their car and onto a bike. So let's just jump right into it. The very first item that I'm gonna re recommend to anyone, but especially a new e-bike rider, it's gonna be a helmet. This helmet right here is the new Cali Central Lit. It is an updated version of my go-to everyday bike helmet, the Cali Central. They've included new reflective striping on the strap, and then the lights are now all the way around the helmet, not just blinking in the rear. The second thing that I recommend to all bike riders, but especially e-bike riders, is going to be a floor pump. Depending on how much you're riding, you're gonna be wanting to pump up your tires every couple of weeks. On an e-bike, it is really easy to not realize that you need air pressure because your motor is taking up a lot of the drag that low pressure tires might give you on a normal bike. So I recommend a good floor pump. My go-to is the Toe Peak Joe Blow Sport, which I'll put a link to below. Not that expensive, but it lasts. I've used them in shops for years and there's a lot of replacement parts if you do wear it out. The third thing will be some type of bag in your handlebar area. The goal of these bags is so that you can have some place quick to throw your phone, your keys, your wallet, and just hop on and go. There are a few different options that I recommend. This one in my hands is designed for some turn bikes. There's also handlebar bags. And if I'm not riding a turn bike, I'm gonna have a slap bag on it. I'll make sure to link below to all of my recommended bags. But this to me is critical so that you're not riding with things falling out of your pockets and it becomes a friction-free or frictionless experience hopping on your bike and going. My last essential accessory is gonna be a good lock. I will be recording a video dedicated just to e-bike locking, but my top three to four locks are gonna be linked below and in the article I mentioned. So if you wanna figure out which lock is for you, just don't skimp on locking your bike and potentially the accessories to your bike E-bikes are expensive and we wanna keep them safe. Those were my key essentials. Now, if you start riding further from home, I do recommend starting to carry some sort of hydration. Maybe if it's coffee, maybe it's water, but having some way to carry hydration on your bike. And then the second thing would be some sort of flat repair kit. There's different levels of flat repair kits and I'll link below to an article. You should be able to hopefully get yourself back on the road or at least have a plan of how to do so. Maybe that's calling a friend or AAA and that's fine, but just have a plan in case you have a mechanical problem on your bike when you're out. All right, those were my core things that I always recommend to get people started with their new e-bike. 
I would love to hear from you. Is there something that I missed? Is there a question you would like covered in this e-bike basic guide video series, whatever I'm gonna call it? Let me know in the comments below. Ultimately, I just wanna get people safely on their new bikes and staying on their new bikes instead of getting frustrated or having a bad experience. So let me know below what you would like to be covered. And well, until next time, as always, stay good, stay well, and remember, get on your bike and leave the car at home when you can.